Good morning, guys. It's Miss Rebecca from Glenwood Kindergarten. We love and miss you, and we are going to have fun with math today, okay? We are going to count to 100 because that is our big thing. We've been counting to 100, and you guys should be able to do that. And we are going to move a little bit this morning, okay? So, here we go. We're going to count to 100, and you're going to exercise with me. And I'm going to put our song on because it's just fun, okay? Here we go. I'm just going to let you um, sing it with me. All right. Stretch your body a little bit. We get it. Uh -oh. You don't really want your kids watching we videos, it. but it can happen. Stretch while you're waiting for me. Here we go. Ready? Let's do this. Here we go. Count to 100 every day. Keep your mind and body in shape. Let's get fit. Have some fun. Count to 100. Get ready to Here we go. And count. Stretch your arms. Your arms first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Your legs. Here we go. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Pump your arms. 1, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Arm circles. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Shoulder shrugs. Here we go. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Halfway there. Elbows back. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Windmills. Windmills. Here we go. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. 70. Walk in, place. Walk in place. 71. 72. 73. 74. 75. 76. 77. 78. 79. 80. Jog in place. Jog in place. 81. 82. 83. 84. 85. 86. 87. 88. 89. 90. Okay, here we go. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 7, 98, 99, 100. Woo! Count to 100 every day. Keep your mind and body in shape. Let's get fit. Have some fun. Count to 100. That was awesome. I know you guys are doing so good on that. Listen, if you move, if you're moving your body while you're learning, you get way more. Your brain gets a little bit bigger, and you can learn more and more and more, okay? So, for today, we were supposed to count to 100 in our packet, right? And we're going to end this year strong. So, you just keep moving on. Okay, so it asks us, to draw five triangles okay so one two three four five and you guys know what a triangle looks like because we've done it a lot so i'm going to use a blue marker and i'm going to show you my triangles now remember triangles have three sides and three points. Okay, we have five triangles. All right, here's my here's my triangles. You see them? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there's our five triangles. And it says to draw three of them blue. 
Okay, so Miss Rebecca's gonna color in three, three of them blue, okay? So I want you to look at them. Let's see, you color your triangles as I am. Okay, I've got three blue triangles, okay? Three, and it says color two more triangles red now, i don't have red so i'm gonna do pink okay so you color yours whatever color you want besides blue because we want them to look a little bit different okay so we've got one and two all right so we've got three blue and two pink now how can we write that as as an equation or as a number sentence there are very many ways we can write it right we could even just draw circles around the three blue ones draw circles around the two blue ones and then write the numbers below it so i want you to look at this and see how many different ways you think you can write this Okay, I'm going to show you my way, but there's a lot of different ways. My way isn't always the best way. Everybody's brain works a little bit different, okay? All right, so Miss Rebecca is going to, now remember, you don't have to do it exactly like me. I am going to circle. I'm going to group mine. You see that? I put a circle around the blue, and I put a circle around the pink ones. So, I'm going to count now which ones are in the circular group. So, I've got one, two, three. I'm going to write the number three. So, three there. Okay. And I'm going to write the number two under the two red ones. And I really like to do these number bonds. They're fun for me. My brain just looks at it better if I've got circles in groups. So, I'm going to circle my number three, and I'm going to circle my number two. Now, because you guys know what a number bond looks like, can you see that? So, I've got three blues, two pinks. Sadie, what do you think that number is that's going to be on the bottom? I see that you're there. Can you see me? If you said, let's count them together. We got three, we've got two. Let's count them all together, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. So we've got one group of three. We've got one group of two. And our total, or in all, we have five triangles. So, guys, we can do things in parts and make a whole, okay? So, this is one part. That's three. This is one part. That's two, right? And in all, the whole part is going to be five. And you can do anything with that. You can count dinosaurs. You can count cars if you have them at home. You can count rocks, different colors of rocks. You can count shapes around your house. So, practice your number bonds and doing two different groups to make a whole. It's actually really fun adding. We don't really... See, it's more like a game. I'm going to do one more, okay? But I'm going to do it with circles. Alright? So, I've got... Four, let's do four, okay? Four circles. One, two, three, four, all right? So, there's my four. And I'm going to do one more circle. And I'm going to color four blue, okay? And I'm going to do it kind of fast just to show you. Or am I running out of time? All right, so I've got four blue. And I've got one pink. Okay. 
So there's my four blue. And there's one pink. Hopefully you can see that. Now, so I'm going to make my number bonds. I'm going to put two circles like this. Then a circle at the bottom. And you all know how to do that because we do that a lot in kindergarten. It's a really easy way to group things and make two parts in one whole. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four circles on this side. And I like to make a big circle around it so that I know what I'm counting. Okay, and then I have one on this side. So our number bond looks like this. We've got four and one. So what is that hole? Four and one. If you don't know, you can count it. Most of you probably do know. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Four and one is five. Okay, so there we go. We got two parts, four and one. And then we have the whole part, which is five. Okay? Listen, do this at home. It's a lot of fun. Just make fun of it. You can use circles. You know what? And sometimes we use hula hoops and we put items in it. That would even be a fun way to get outside and do it today. You could do, use rocks. You could even make a circle with your chalk. Do it on the um, driveway. I hope that you guys have a super awesome day and that you have fun with math today, okay? Have a great day. We love you and we miss you and we hope you have an awesome day. Thank you for coming to watch. Goodbye.